Yo, what is up guys? Left First here, and today we are going to be analyzing the new Beyblade Burst Chosy theme song that recently came out today. The episode that came out today, it came with a new theme song. And if you guys know me, and if you guys know most anime fans, the second there's a new theme song, it's really hype. But actually, I guess this isn't really a new theme song. It's kind of like the same theme song, just like a different animation, which is really cool. And actually, the whole and not all the animations changed. They kept a lot of the same animations. But yeah, we're gonna be analyzing the whole entire theme song just because like the theme song like kind of holds like hints to what's gonna happen in the future and. All also reveals like characters that's gonna be revealed in the future and it's really nice to just analyze it and predict like what's gonna happen in the nearby Beyblade things. So yeah, let's just get this started. Also, there's a new Beybub that came out and oh my gosh, the new Beybub is amazing. So I'm gonna have to analyze that one too. Anyways, so let's just get this started. The theme song kind of starts as normal. You know, like Z Achilles is in the middle, Aiga's like running past it, then we get to Aiga falling from the sky. Why Aiga's falling from the sky? I don't know. I don't know why they keep doing that in the theme theme song like for the, some reason in the Chosey theme song I guess just always falling from the sky and like it never shows him landing like I'm just gonna guess that he lands safely but like how he doesn't have a parachute he's probably just gonna die like I, I they never explained that it's anime whatever anyway see after that we get the cool um scene that was in the last theme song you know kind of the white shout out Aiga and finally we get to the new part of the theme song you know when they say like Zemu or whatever like over and over again like Zemu 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 whatever and they have like a frame for each time they say Zemu and like new animation or whatever anyway so yeah we got new animation of that and that is our first look of some new characters now here's the screenshot right here as you can see there's three characters right there on the far right we already know that character that's Kyle, he's the owner of Hazard Kirbyus, although he did take his mask off, and I remember seeing Kyle for the first time without his mask, and just thinking he was like, super ugly, but actually, now that I look at him now, he's not that bad of a character, he doesn't look that bad of a design, but my question is, why is he wearing the mask? I just don't know, like, what does he have to hide? Why is he wearing a mask? Is he like, secretly like a superstar? Like, what's up with that? Anyway, so, there's the guy in the middle, and he has a really cool design, I'm really digging that design with the blue hair, and he kind of looks like really tired, it looks like he hasn't slept for days because he has like bags under his eyes and he kind of looks like a mad scientist in my uh, opinion just because of that lab coat, that white lab coat makes him look like a scientist in those gloves. Anyway, so I'm going to speculate based on his color scheme that he's going to be the owner of Orb Ages. Also, I'm sure most of you know Orb Ages' new part. I was going to do a video on that today, but I decided to do this instead. Maybe I'll do like the new parts on Orb Ages and uh, the new Spurgeon tomorrow for a video. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, so Orb Ages' new part, the QS tip, that is, it's so like, I'm so confused what's going on with that. It has like a suction cup on the bottom. It like it, it like sticks to the stadium, but it has like no stamina. I'm just I mean for it's like literally pure defense, no stamina, no attack. It's so confusing. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna be an interesting driver. So I definitely think that this guy in the middle is going to be Orb Aegis, his owner. And on the far left, we actually get this character that was only shown in the manga. I never thought this character was gonna appear in the anime, so like when I saw it in the like new theme song, I was so surprised. This guy is the owner of all the super prize bay. You know those like uh, Amaterios, Baldur's, or Chalcoms? This guy in the manga, he always owns those Beyblades, and he actually also owns a uh, uh, Shining or a Chal or Shining Amaterios. So I'm guessing in the anime, I'm not sure if he's gonna have like all the Beyblades, like all the prize bays, or if he's just gonna have Shining on Materials or Shadow on Materials. Not really sure how that's gonna work, but I'm really hyped to see him in the anime. It's just kind of surprising. Like, I really never thought he would appear because this is a character that we've known about for a really long time. He's been around since, like, the uh, Amaterios days, so it's weird just to have him appear in the Chosey anime after, like, uh, two seasons of not appearing. It's just strange. Anyway, so yeah, after that we get another clip. Uh, you know how it says, again, Zemu, 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 whatever, they have new frames. Uh, the next frame, we get a picture of Ranjaro, um, Fubuki, and Suo. Kinda, it's, it's just them, nothing really much to say. After that, we get a clip of Dead Hades' owner. I think Dead Hades' owner, he's like the brother of Fi. Anyway, so he seems like he's gonna have a really major role because in the theme song, he had a really major role in the theme song, which translates to having like a really major role in the anime. Like, for instance, in the last 
last theme song, uh, Zan was the one who filled that role that this, uh, the Dead Hades owner is filling, and Zan played a pretty major role in the, like, ship arc or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, we see him, and then we see the Dead Hades, um, Right there, the Dead Hades Beyblade and his avatar behind it. And Dead Hades, oh my gosh, guys. Dead Hades is actually an awesome Beyblade. I really like its design. It's just so cool. I mean, maybe not the design, but I really like the color scheme. Like, come on. You can't get better than red, purple, and gold. That is just amazing. Red and purple, that's like Gengar. And everyone loves Gengar. That's an amazing color scheme. Anyway, so yeah. Then we see a clash between Aiga and uh, the Dead Hades owner. I totally forgot the Dead Hades owner. He was literally just revealed in this episode. You guys can roast me in the comment section. Tell me what it is. Japanese names, they're kind of hard to remember, all right? I'm sorry. Anyway, so after that, we get a clip of, um... The three characters I was just talking about in that Zemu, Zemu, uh, frame or whatever, the guy who owns Orb Aegis, the guy who owns Shadow, um, Amaterios, and the guy, and Kyle, the guy who owns, uh... Hazard Kerbius, they're there, right there. For some reason, it's just like a white background clouds. I guess that's like an aesthetic thing, trying to make it more like artistic or whatever. Then after that, Shu and Free pop out on, on the side. And oh my gosh, guys, it looks so odd. Look at Shu, he's so amazing. And because Shu played like a decent role, or at least played a role in the theme song, I'm guessing that he's probably gonna reappear in the anime, which does that mean that Tozi Sprig is gonna reappear in the anime? Is this gonna be awesome? I, I can't. Wait, guys, it's amazing. Look at you. He is so awesome. He's amazing. Anyway, after that, we get a picture of Fi. We saw this in the last theme song. We saw Fi, like, somehow growing, like, a rainbow wings. I never really understood that, but they brought it back in this theme song. Also, we get a picture of Fi just kind of looking in the camera. We got this in the last theme song, too. But what is awesome about what happens in this theme song is it changes from Fi to his brother, the owner of Dead Hades. And, oh my gosh, it just looks so awesome. That's great. That's, it's amazing. It's, like, an, it's amazing choice. Amazing aesthetic-wise. Then after that, of course, Aiga, like, explodes with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, our, uh, what could I think? The Achilles, and then we get the ending scene, which the ending scene is basically the same as the other theme songs, except I think they added Laban and Zan. So, yeah, that's basically a whole analysis of the Beyblade Burst Chozetsu opening version 3 or whatever. We already had like two versions before it, so this is version 3 of the opening. And yeah, overall, my opinion on it, it looks like uh, the owner of Dead Hades, he's probably gonna uh, fulfill a major role in the upcoming episodes. Also, Fi's probably gonna be a major role, of course, although, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen the episode, um, I got actually just beat Fi, so I don't know what's gonna happen to revive Phoenix, because that's weird, because I always thought Fi was gonna be, like, the final boss for Chozetsu, but I could just beat him, like, he's just, like, the first battle they have, that he's just, I just, like, boom, I won, and it's so weird, too, because I thought Vault was gonna be, like, one of the last challenges for Chozetsu, but I could just totally destroy, like, winning Valkyrie and like, the, the first, like, 25 episodes. We're only on, like, episode 27 when he destroyed it. It's crazy, and we still have, like, around, like, 20-some episodes to go. Anyway, so, yeah, uh, again, my opinion, um, Dead Hades, major role, Fi, major role, Vault probably, ma actually, did we even, Vault didn't even make that much of an appearance in, uh, the theme song, but I'm sure he's gonna ma be a major role just because Chosy Valkyrie's a thing. Also, Shu's probably gonna come back, not really sure if he's gonna battle, but he's definitely gonna show up in the later episodes of the Chosy anime. And, yeah, moving on to the more hype part, the Bay pop part guys i mean i know the theme song i mean the chosy theme song is actually really good i feel like it doesn't get enough credit it's an amazing theme song not bashing on that but bay pop is just oh my god bay pop was so good they changed up the bay pop this time unlike the uh theme song where they just changed the animation they actually changed the lyrics in Bay Pop and the lyrics now sound so much better than it did before I, before I thought Bay Pop was awesome but now I think Bay Pop's even better just the lyrics are so much better like before it feels like the lyrics were really childish now they're kind of like upbeat and it's amazing anyway so uh yeah here's the first frame that we get of the new Bay Pop and it looks like I mean there's a bunch of like text there because of course this is an ending opening so it has to give credit to like all the creators but we see it's just so amazing look they're all wearing suits and they're all like dancing you see Zan dancing you see Laban dancing you see uh, Archer Hercules owners Hoy dancing and then you see Suo dancing it's amazing then the next frame we get is um 
which I'm gonna call it Chris in the middle with free on the side dancing Xander dancing and in the smack middle we have um uh, wh why can't I remember Chrysan's owner? Cisco. Cisco also there. And Cisco appears, so I'm guessing Cisco's probably gonna appear in the later episodes of Cho Z. I know he appeared, like, for one episode for literally, like, five, five seconds in Cho Z with his new design, but I feel like he's gonna have another prominent role because he is in the Bay Pop theme song, so at least, at least, he's at least gonna make an appearance. I'm really hoping that they give, uh, Christ Satan a new Beyblade. That'd be amazing. Then after that, we get, like, kind of... Uh, some animation of Aiga, Fubuki, and Ranjaro. I guess it's like they're in a game or something, and they're versing this giant, like, slime vault thing. It's- I, I don't really know what's going on there. And finally, we're on to my favorite part of the Bay Pop theme song. It's so awesome. My favorite part of the Bay Pop theme song. It's when Vault spins into the frame, and then Shu also spins into the frame, and it's just- it's so awesome. When I saw that, I was freaking out. I was like, yes! Vault and Shu! that's amazing and the animation just seeing them spin like the screenshot it doesn't show justice you actually have to watch the bay pop uh new opening actually I, I might if i can find a video on youtube showing the bay pop new opening i'll link in the description if i can't i'm sorry about that then we get a picture of um the new bladers again we see kyle we see the owner or speculated owner of uh orb ages then we see the shining on materials or the shine or the shadow on materials guy but we also see this new character in bay pop i have no idea who this guy is look at his design it's so it's so crazy look at his bow tie i have no idea who that owner is he wasn't even in the uh opening so like i'm so confused maybe when he's released they'll do another opening for him i really know then after that we get this uh uh, this uh, shot of Aiga and Fi. Aiga's on the top in the daylight, Fi's on the bottom in the night, and I guess that just kind of like shows that they're kind of like, they're kind of similar characters, but with like different backgrounds, I'm not really sure. Then after that, we get a scene of Aiga powering up and Fi powering up and they're battling, and this scene was actually in the other Bay Pop opening, except with Vault, so it looks like Fi might be replacing Vault in that sort of way. Then after that, Aiga, of course, goes crazy, and then Achilles appears behind him, like, kabam. Then, finally, we get the final scene of Bay Pop, and I love the final scenes of Bay Pop because it just shows all the characters that they've been developing up until this point. Just look at all those characters on screen right now. And then when, when Bay Pop's, like, when the music is going, they're all dancing. Like, look, all right, so there's all the characters on screen, and then they're, look at them all, like, going crazy with their own personality. It's amazing. Ranjaro, Aika, and Fubuki, they're just kind of marching, but everyone else is just doing their own thing. Like, if you look at Kyle, he's like on his phone. The uh, the owner of Dead Hades is like flipping around. Fi, he's just sparkling, because like Fi just sparkles everywhere. Louie, he's like laughing, like evil laughing like a crazy person because that's just what Louie does. Vault and Shu, they're like headbutt. I love that. I love how Vault and Shu are shown to be like such good friends. I can't wait to see that in the actual anime, not in like the openings or the ending music things. Anyway, then we see, uh, Cisco getting really mad at Free, and Free just having enough. Look at Free, he's just tired. He doesn't even want to be there. He's like, why am I even here right now? Then in the top, we see um the owner, or speculated owner of Orb Aegis, and it looks like he's just on his tablet. Maybe Orb Aegis is going to be like a really tech-savvy kind of guy, kind of character. Maybe that's going to be his like quirk or whatever. Anyway, then we see... um. The owner of Shadow on Materials, or Shining on Materials, he looks like he's like spinning a baton for some reason. Then uh, next to him is Xander and uh, Zan, and it looks like they're like headbutting each other, high-fiving each other, they're having a good time. Then Laban, he's just jumping up and forth. Then there's Hoy. I can't even see Hoy in the screenshot. He's just behind. He's It's kind of symbolic how he's irrelevant, because he's behind Vault and Chu, and you can't even really see them. <laughs> then you see Fi. Or, sorry, not Fi. Then you see, um, Suo. And Suo, of course, giving off those, like, flowers when he danced. That's so cute. That's so amazing. Then next to Suo, we see, um... 
whatchamacallit, Nika and Toko. They're like high-fiving each other because they're siblings. I really wish that they would get more screen time. They're awesome characters. And then in the back, it's just basically uh, background characters. It's nothing really important to say about those. So yeah, that was my whole analysis of the Beyblade Burst opening and my analysis of the Beypop theme song. It's amazing. I'm really hyped. I'm sorry if you guys couldn't really keep up. I know this video was kind of confusing. I didn't really mean to make it confusing. I was just so hyped about the theme song. I thought the theme song was awesome. I thought the ending was even better. Better than new Bay Pop. Again, guys, if you haven't seen the new Bay Pop, go look it up on YouTube. Go find it. It's an amazing song. It's so good. I love it so much. Anyway, so yeah, also, I'm probably gonna do an episode review tomorrow. I'm either gonna do the episode review tomorrow or sometime this week, or I'm gonna do a uh, news video on the new things that we learned about Chosie Spurgeon and Orb Ages. So yeah, remember to come subscribe. See you guys later. Have a nice day. Left first out.